can you use this 3D image to explain to us what incontinence is and how common it is, Louise, amongst women? So this is a, a diagram mm -hmm. of um, the female pelvis. And what you see here in pink is the urinary bladder. Um, the, the bladder stores urine after it's produced in the kidneys. And it, it accumulates there. Mm -hmm. So m typically, the bladder wall muscles are relaxed, and they accommodate more and more urine. At some point, your brain and the reflexes that control the bladder signal your body that it's time to go to the bathroom. So when that happens, the walls of the bladder contract, and it squeezes the urine out through this tube here, which is called the urethra. OK. Now, are there different types of incontinence? Yes. There are typically. Uh, two, two different kinds of incontinence that we see. Uh, stress incontinence, where the muscles of the pelvic floor that keep the urethra closed and supported are weakened. Mm -hmm. um, and then when there's pressure from above, there's leakage. Okay. And then the second type is um, urgency incontinence, mm -hmm. where the brain sends signals to the bladder wall muscles to start contracting prematurely. And that usually is associated with the feeling of having to go to the bathroom, and you can't make it to the bathroom. You have to run, and you, you don't make it to the toilet on time. And then the third is a mixture of these two, called mixed incontinence, mm -hmm. where we have some urgency and some stress incontinence combined.